just tell folks who may be watching uh, a little bit about yourself and how you got in this fight for liberty? Sure. So um, I'm originally from South Africa and I grew up in a diplomatic household. So I sort of traveled and lived all over the world. Um, and then while I was in law school in South Africa, my parents had entered me into the green card lottery and I won a green card to come to America. And of course, I was like, yes, please. That sounds like an awesome opportunity. And uh, finished my law degree in South Africa and then got married and moved to America. We ended up in Silicon Valley where I work for Fortune 500 tech companies as a lawyer. I started out as a paralegal. I had the very typical immigrant story, came with two suitcases. I had $7,000, lived in the Tenderloin in San Francisco in a one bedroom, well, not even a one bedroom, a studio apartment with a bath in the kitchen, uh, you know, junkies, a crack house. I mean, it was the whole thing. Worked my way up slowly but surely, retook the bar, got some great jobs, did the dot-com bubble, and then did the bust. And <laughs> that is where I got interested in Austrian economics. Thanks, From Alan Aust Greenspan. Right? <laughs> you know, they, they, they keep creating opportunities for us, you know, much like the inflation we're seeing now is really going to start to push the crypto markets in an interesting way. So uh, left San Francisco in 2001, put all our stuff in storage, packed two backpacks, went backpacking through Southeast Asia, India and Africa uh, for about, it ended up being almost three years. We're living on a $15 a day budget. It was really, you know, it was an experience. I really used a lot of that time to learn about Austrian economics, sort of reading up as an immigrant, you know, you, you, I mean, I became a citizen, so obviously I had to pass the test, but really, you know, going a little more in depth into the constitution. And then I'm a little Ron Paulian, you know, I discovered Ron Paul and he was my dude and I liked what he had to say and um, learned about the Free State Project in 2003, got moved out in 2008 and then got really heavily involved. I served as the president from, I think it was uh, 11 to 16, triggered the move, which is the mass exodus of kind of bringing libertarians to the state of New Hampshire. I've run for Senate a few times now. I still chair the FSP. I serve on a lot of boards. I write books. I, you know, I'm just living my best self. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs>